Are you ready to settle down and be my wife? It just it's just me. As a man. You, you don't know I no other man. Are you ready for that? It will be with me every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> to death do us part, yeah. I can honestly say yes. Okay. I am ready to be your wife. I think I've dreamed about this moment probably forever. What, just getting married? Getting married, mm -hmm. settling down. Gotcha. Being a wife. Didn't know it was going to be you. Right. But you came into my life and changed it and made me see things a whole different way. Right, right, all day. I'm ready to take that next step and spend forever with you. Okay. You know? It's like we are total opposites. Totally. We have nothing in common. Night and day. But we work. Well together. We complement each other. Well together, right. Like salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So yes, I can say I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Without a doubt. I met Keenan in seventh grade at Hosper Junior High School. We were about 12 years old. Right? 12? Yeah, yeah, around 12. Yeah, around 12. And uh, what was that year? 88? 1988. Oh, wow. That's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I do remember is Charlene. I think she used to wear braids, braids all the time. <laughs> it's like a basket weave or something. Kind of. I think that was the style. But anyway, yeah, I liked it, and uh, I think that would attracted me to you. You know. And I remember you had waves, lots of waves in your hair. I think that's what I like. Oh uh, yeah, well, the hair gone now. So <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, hair yeah, 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 the hair had been gone for a while. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I remember the waves, right? On the trolley bus and so forth. Yeah, that was the days. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We went on a date. My mom took us on a date to Knoxbury Farm. Yeah. Yeah, I that remember was, that. That was my first date. How about you? Yeah, that was my first date as well. Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I think you were my first girlfriend. <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, I had a good time, too. I think what I liked about Keenan. When I met him, when we were younger, he had a cute little dimple. And like I said, the waves in his hair. And he was kind of quiet. And he used to follow me all the time. He was a little weird. He used to follow, follow me all the time. time. Girl, he used to get on the trolley. <laughs> when we would catch the trolley home, he would get on the trolley. Yeah, and follow you advice. didn't even have to catch the trolley. You would get I on the trolley. I did. I had to catch the trolley. I'd say 10 minutes away, 15 <laughs> minutes away. Hello, <laughs> Polly. Yeah, I think he was my boyfriend for about, what, a week? <laughs> week yeah. Two? Not long. But we always stayed friends. And I think I always had that attraction for for him, even once we got older and, you know. The cool would... thing about that, you talking about we was together for a week, so uh, we was together for one week and then we went to another place for him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was about to tell you, we were together with me. Um, when we got older and reconnected, I think... What I like most about Ken is because he's a caring person. He takes good care of me. He makes sure I'm happy. He makes sure he cooks for me. He, he does things that I've never had anybody to do for me. He just makes sure I'm taken care of. He doesn't care about how much money I have or you know what situation I'm in. He just makes sure that he's the one that takes care of me. And I think that's what I love most about him. Yeah, well... Well, what attracted me to you, I think back then was, yeah, the braids, and then you had that cold, like, little, that little stand, like, when your legs go back and sun. It was kind of like, what's wrong with her legs? But it was cute, though, you know. And that attracted you? Yeah, because it was kind of different, like, because how your legs used to be back. It was cute, but anyway, um, yeah. So that's one deal. And, um, yeah, when we reconnected, I don't know, it was kind of like, like, like we, like, I mean, we was apart for a while, but when we met up, it was like kind of like, not like right where we left off, but it wasn't like we didn't know like each other. Like we never lost 
Yeah, like we didn't Touch know each, each other. other. And then the situation you was in, yeah. it was like, you know, I can't just leave her like that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. in the hospital like that. Like, I was in the hospital for a whole month and Keenan was the only person there every day. He was there taking care of me, feeding me. He made me get out of bed and walk when I didn't want to walk. And I would cry and say, I don't want to get out of bed, but he would make me get out of bed. And everybody at the hospital thought he was my husband. And <laughs> Hey, Kenny, congratulations, man. We've been through a lot of storms together, man. We've seen a lot of darkest days. We've seen the brightest days. Man, we've been through the storm and, and back. And I'm glad to see you turned into the man that you are, man. You know how we call each other and uplift each other. This day I'm here to uplift you, man. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? He did this. I'm proud of him. This is grown man stuff. You understand me? Yeah, Kenny, you're a great man. You know what I'm saying? The queen got a great man. I just want to tell Charlene, you did this thing. You understand me? Now loan me five dollars after this get over. I know I ain't got no gas to get on. You understand me? Charlene, I'll meet you after the wee's at me. You understand me? Get it in. This is real right here. <laughs> See you later. Hey Charlene. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey Dad. Congratulations, man. I'm here to support you guys. I got the kids. I got my wife. We can't just leave her out. We all looking good today from Cousin Keenan. You know we sharp. We got to go out here and have a good time. Yes, sir. And you know what I'm saying? Wishing the best on this wedding. To my new cousin Charlene, we love you. We'll be there for you to support you. He get out of line, call us, you know, best man. That's my duty to get at him, do my walk up Rosecrans Boulevard, calm him down. We're going we gonna to work it out. But like I said, we support you. We, we congratulate you and we thank you for coming into the family. And then okay, it's, 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 Breathe, take a deep breath. Yeah, I'm good. You ready? Yeah. Look, cut off video. This is for you. From your wife. That nigga should have got a tail on his head. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Man. That's, that's it right there. Man. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm trying so not to cry, man. You. We'll have her with you today, oh, bro. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. That old Shay Shay with you, man. <laughs> that old Shay Shay. <laughs>
says that a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. So when you found Charlene, you found a good thing. Also, a man who finds a wife obtains favor from God. So you obtain favor from God. Okay. There's no coincidence that you ran into Charlene. She's your destiny helper, the woman who God predestined you to be with. Your help me, Charlene. God, Adam named Eve. He gave her her name. <laughs> Just like I hear... Keenan gave Char Charlie a name because they're baby. <laughs> okay, you gave Charlene a name, baby, so she'll be your baby forever. I would like to give a little history about Charlene and Keenan. I have the honor and privilege to be able to marry them today, but I've been knowing Keenan ever since junior high school. I met Keenan in junior high school when he was running around looking like Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> running around, he had, all I remember he was a light-skinned guy with his big old head and well-dressed. <laughs> he had the be best dress boy in the school. He had clean fingernails, a sharp dresser, clean shoes, and he's still the same way today. And Charlie likes clean dresses. She likes clean shoes, and she loves a man who knows how to dress, and that's what Keenan is. And so they came together. So I first met Keenan in junior high school. Charlene and I went to a different high school, so we separated from Keenan. And so after high school, probably about 10 years after high school, well, about, I would say about six years ago, I was at a restaurant with Charlene and my mom, and I really didn't feel like going to the restaurant, but now I'm thankful that I went to the restaurant. Because as I was eating, there was a guy sitting across who kept looking at me while I was eating. 
And so I said, I don't know who this guy is and why he's looking at me, but I'm gonna eat this food good. So he keep on looking. <laughs> he eventually got up and came and said something to me, and I said, okay, he's finally going to say something. I don't know why he's watching me, but today I'm glad that I was nice to him. While he was eating, while I was eating, I said, I told Charlie, I said, this guy keep on staring at me, and she said, oh, and I told her, and she said, what's Keenan? I said, well, what's Keenan? And then Keenan eventually came over and introduced himself to me. He said, are you Lakeithia? And I said, yes. Anybody calls me Lakeithia, no, I know that's somebody from school. And when I looked in his face, I said, oh, that's this big head. <laughs> that's big head, a little knuckle head, like my sister in junior high school. But ever since that day, they were connected. And second, uh, Charlie went into the hospital. When she went into the hospital, Keenan was there every day. He was there from the time they opened to the time they closed, and I wasn't able to go, and, and my mom wasn't able to go every day, but when I would call Charlie, she would say, Keenan is here. And I said, Keenan is there again? And I, and I began to think, I said, I think, do you think Keenan might be your husband? And she said, no, I don't like, we don't like each other like that. We're just friends. But I said, I think Keenan is a good man because a man who will support you when you're sick, that's how you know when somebody really loves you. You know, that's unconditional love. You're sick. And my sister was really sick for about three months. He went to that hospital every single day on that accident for her hand in marriage. And so on Christmas, Charlie surprised everybody. But I really wasn't surprised. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And so um, we all love Kenan. We love uh, Kenan. He's like a brother. Kenan is like a brother. Okay? So today, you guys are together. You have made a decision to become one. When you become married, you're one. You become one. It's no longer me, myself, and I. It's us. And today you decided to take your um, your um, vows before God and before all each of us. And so we're all excited to be here with you today. Okay? And so, if you guys take each other by the hand, you got a vow that I'm going to read for you guys. Okay. The saying. First, we would like to do the. Yes, yeah, so we would like to do the sand ceremony first. And the sand ceremony, we're going to push for a little bit, then let Charlene pour some, and then you guys go back and forth. As they pour the sand, the sand becomes one. It's unity. The grains can never be separated. The they, the um. Sand was in separate containers before they got started, but they're putting the sand in one container, and that one container, the sand will uh, combine together and it will never separate. It can never go back in separate vessels again. Gotta pour more. Gotta pour more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got a lot. Look how much I got. Just pour it together. See if you can. Go When Adam saw Eve, he said, this is flesh in my flesh and bone in my bone, which meant they became one. Today, Kenan, you and Charlene become one. Charlene becomes flesh of your flesh and bone of your bone. Can you take Charlie by the right hand? This by the right? Mm-hmm. Huh? We need the right? Not right now. So both of you guys are confident and trust, and you trust each other, you're now ready to accept each other as husband and wife. You come as one, okay? And uh, to pursue life's journey together, okay? And so, you take, will you take Charlie by the right hand, Kenan? Okay. Do you, Keenan, take Charlie, whom you hold by the right hand, to be your true and lawful wife. To love, do you promise to love, to cherish her, and joy and pain, and sickness and health, 
and forsaking all others to cleave to her only so long as you both live. I do. I do. Okay. okay. Do you, Charlie, take Keenan, whom you hold by the hand, to be your lawfully true husband, to love, honor, obey, and cherish him? And joy and pain and sickness or health and forsaking all others to plead to him and only him. <laughs> so as long as you live. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> <laughs> to love, honor, and do what? <laughs> <laughs> to obey? <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do? Okay. <laughs> so what pledge do you have for the faithful fulfillment of the marriage vows? The rings. The rings. I need the rings. I need the rings. Woo. <laughs> Turn it around. So this is the ring. Notice that this ring is a circle. This circle rep represents eternity. It doesn't have a beginning or an end. It never ends. This. Uh, ring is pure and so a holy union is pure and it's meant to last forever it's a holy union pure union okay and so I pray that your marriage will last for a lifetime that it will never end okay this is the ring and so I'm going to give this ring to you Tina yes. you take mine is this yours it's this mine Okay. And repeat after me, Keenan. Yes. Okay. <coughs> repeat after me, Keenan. Okay. With this ring. With this ring. Given to thee. Given to thee. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. I shall seal my vows. I shall seal my vows. With all earthly possessions. With all earthly possessions. I thee and thou. I thee and thou. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. You put the ring on her finger. Okay, now Charlie. Okay, Charlie, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. Given to thee as a token of my love. Given to thee as a token of my love. I seal my vows. I seal my vows. And with all earthly possessions. And with all earthly possessions. I thee and thou. I thee and thou. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as a representative of Jesus Christ, and as a, um, <laughs> I would like to pronounce you, as a minister of the gospel, I would like to pronounce you as husband and wife. Kian, you may kiss your bride. All right.
It's on. About to get yeah, real. It's getting real. You understand me? I'm saying another drink. We're going in. Hey. Don't forget her. Unless you get her.
All right, so my name is Russell. I'm um, Charlie's brother-in-law, and now I'm Kenya's brother-in-law. Um, ever since I met Charlie, um, since day one, she's been nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you embraced me into your family, and, and you showed me nothing but love. And I appreciate you. I, I thank you, and I love you. And, you know, as a sister. You know, <laughs> hey, Kenan. Keenan, my man, man, he, my brother, um, always encouraged me to be a better man, you know, guide me as a, as a big brother. You know, the long nights, we had so many talks just about being a man and, 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 and handling your business as a man and responsibility, I and mean, I appreciate you for that. You know, I love y'all, I'm happy for y'all, I'm proud of y'all, and I just need, I, I wish y'all, you know, nothing but blessings and, and, and and nothing but love and, and, and longevity in this marriage, man. I appreciate y'all. Cheers, man. Yeah. Is anybody out there? No, let me be safe. Let me be safe. Um, with me and Russell being the best men. I think about being the best man and not just the toast, but just being the best man. Stop. I have to say to my brother Russell, this wasn't just us standing by his side, this was standing by his side for the rest of our lives. We support when they have trials and tribulations in their relationship. As the best men, we have to go to her rescue to support their marriage because we the best men. Her only option when she ready to give up or when it's bad is us, bro. So sometimes people make the decision to be best men and don't know what that means. That's worse than the godfather or godmother because we wear those titles and don't know what that title actually consists of. So, in this toast, I'm actually giving my life to it. I'm a part of a marriage, and I've never been a best man before in my life on this level. You can call me best man, but I'm more than the best man because that's my cousin, which those are my cousins now. So, in me being the best man, in this toast, I want to say this. It's a song that's been ringing in my heart all weekend. And the song is by the champions. It's my rose. It says, uh, heaven only knows just how far we can go. Give love a chance to grow. Hmm. Give love a chance to grow. There might be nights where you both might not be feeling each other. Love ain't about happiness, because we love our parents, family, friends, and we ain't never happy with none of them. And I'm so honored to be a part of your special day. And Charlie, we've been friends for over 30 years, 34 years. And throughout our entire friendship, you've always included me in everything. And I thank you for that. And to Keenan, I know you're going to take good care of my girl. I know you got her. And I wish you two the best. Okay? And everybody, can everybody raise your glasses? I wish you to all the love, happiness, longevity, laughter, good health, and wealth in your marriage. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to the newlywed.
Charlie and Keenan. Charlie is my cousin on my dad's side. Keenan is my cousin on my mom's side. So both of them are my cousins. And I'm just happy to witness you guys join us one. I just want to say thank you guys. I love you guys. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I wish you guys longevity for you guys to keep God first and keep the family out of it. You know, your home is your sanctuary. What goes on in your home stays between your home. You know, I just want nothing but love, peace, and respect that I wish amongst both of you guys. And I just want to say thank you guys for having me to welcome you guys and celebrate this union that we have blessed to join and witness. So I just want to say keep God first. First and foremost, keep the naysayers out of it. And you two have the power to make this marriage worthwhile. Nothing and nobody else can come between what you two have joined and what you guys have formed. Okay, I love you guys. I wish you guys nothing but the best. And congratulations.
it up for the Stevensons.
Good hours, good hours.